Thank you for taking the time to watch this video today and learn more about the Kingsmead Park project. My name is Tara Fazer, Community Recreational Coordinator with the City of St. Albert. The main focus of this presentation is to show you the Kingsmead Park final design and inform you on how your input can help shape the overall playground design through an online public survey that is available on our website until April 22nd. All the Kingsmead Park information, including the playground survey, can be found on the Kingsmead Park Cultivate the Conversation website. Before I get to the fun part of what this park will look like, I will give you a quick background on the Kingsmead Park project and how we came to where we are today. Kingsmead Park is located along Kingswood Boulevard, adjacent to Kingsmead Crescent and across from Kingsdale Crescent. The park is classified as a community park within the city's park and open space standards and guidelines. The development of Kingsmead Park started with the lands transfer from the developer. In 2020, we gathered feedback from residents to understand what the needs of the park would be for the Kingswood neighborhood. A concept design was created and shared with the public in November. To refine the details of the site amenities of the park, a public survey was conducted in February 2021 and the project team has been working hard to finalize design, which we are excited to share with you today. Overall, the Kingsmead Park will look very similar to the, what the original concept design showed. Some of the small changes we have made include the removal of the small sledding hill, the reduction in the size of the playground to align with similar community park playgrounds, the removal of one of the interactive play elements along the trail, and the refinement of the multi-sport court area. You will see these changes shortly in the new final design. The design of the playground is completely separate from the overall park design and you'll have the opportunity to provide feedback on the design of the playground space. I will introduce the playground survey later on in this video. Going forward, the construction of Kingsmead Park, including the playground, will begin in late spring and will continue through the fall. As you know, weather will play a factor in construction, but our intent is to have some elements of the park open by the end of 2021. Now this is the exciting part. Let's look at the final Kingsmead Park design. This image can be small to view as a copy of this design can be found on the Kingsmead Park Cultivate the Conversation website. You have two entrances along Kingsway Boulevard connecting you to the asphalt trail that will guide you to the variety of amenities. Kingsmead Park will have a large nature themed playground with sand and rubber surfacing and a variety of equipment accommodating children from ages 2 to 12. More information on the playground design later on in the video. A central social hub will provide a place for family and friends to gather while enjoying the views of the rest of the park. A wooden board rink with player benches allowing skaters and hockey players a place to play during the winter months and provides the community an off-leash area during the spring to fall season. A large open grass space to, close to Kingsmead Boulevard will encourage passive recreation like catch or tag in the summer months and will be transformed into a social ice surface in the winter months. The multi-sport court area provides a great spontaneous place for people to look to play basketball, street hockey, or pickleball. Along the cell trail, you will find four interactive play elements that will encourage people to balance, climb, and ride over bumps as they make their way through the park. These play spaces surround a naturalized metal that will be mowed only three to four times a year. Providing the boundaries for Kingsmead Park, you will find a variety of trees and shrubs completing the natural theme of Kingsmead Park. Landscaping will provide shade and privacy screening, but is designed to address visibility and safety concerns. Another enhancement to the aerial area you will find will be traffic calming measured at, measures at park entrances, the South Kingsdale Crescent entrance and the north corner of the park, just south of Kingsmead Crescent. Flashing crosswalk signage, curb bump outs and road markings will ensure the intersections are safe for both pedestrians and vehicle traffic. In the near future, Kingsmead Park will be designated as a playground zone and the local speed will be reduced to 30 kilometers per hour from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. Let's look at the park amenities a little closer. 
The pictures provided here are just for reference and do not represent the exact look of the amenities that you will see in Kingsmead Park. The picnic shelter at the social hub will accommodate two picnic benches and two park benches. There'll be lighting providing on a motion sensor and heat on a push button to warm up the space in the colder months. Both the social ice surface and the boarded rink will have lighting illuminating the space in the evenings while ensuring there is no light spillover into the rest of the park or the neighborhood. The border rink will be constructed of wooden boards and will have a chain link fence protecting those who are walking along the trail or playing in the park. There will be directional lighting provided on the ice surfaces and in the picnic shelter, but no other lighting will be provided throughout the park. The multi-sport court area will consist of two basketball hoops, one pickleball or badminton court line markings, and goal creases for street hockey or soccer. The base of the court will be asphalt with a sport court surface over top, and the residents will need to bring their own portable nets. There are no fences around the court area as shown in this photo. The four interactive play elements along the south trail of the park will consist of one area with stepping logs and one area for climbing small rocks or boulders, similar to the photo you see here. The other areas will consist of bouncing logs that can also be a good place to sit down and rest. The last area is for bikes to ride up and down some small grass hills. All four areas of the spontaneous play as you make your way through this park space and will be a great place for everyone young and old to enjoy. Let's talk about the site furnitures at Kingsmead Park. Kingsmead Park will have composite wood park benches installed around the park site. Bench locations are placed around the park site providing plenty of rest areas for park users. The same composite wood material will be used for the picnic benches you will see at the park. The picnic benches will be located at the social hub, specifically under the picnic shelter and by the playground. Bike racks will be located by the social hub these bike racks may not look exactly like those in the photo, but the picture gives you a good idea of what you may see at the park. A maintenance shed similar to the photo will be located near the boarded rink providing city staff a place to store the equipment necessary to maintain the ice surfaces. Now that you have all the details of the overall park design, let's talk about the playground design and how you can get involved. The playground at Kingsmead Park is being designed separately from the overall park design. We have asked playground suppliers to provide their designs and we are looking for your feedback to help determine the final features of the playground. All playground designs all have a natural theme and incorporate sand and pour in place rubber surfacing. The playground is designed for children ages two to 12 years of age with an emphasis on children ages five to 12. We received eight playground designs and you can see a preview of them here. A public survey to gather feedback on the proposed design will be up on the Kingsmead Park Cultivate the Conversation website at conversation.stalbert.ca. The survey will be available from April 15th until April 22nd. Please visit the site and click on the survey link at the bottom to fill out the survey. Please consider evaluating all eight playground designs as your feedback is very valuable on all of them. Public input will be just one of many contributing factors in the decision of which playground design to go with. We look forward to seeing the survey results. What's next and how can you get involved? The playground design survey is open from April 15th until April 22nd and is available on the Kingsmead Park Cultivate the Conversation website near the bottom under survey. You can stay informed on project updates by subscribing to Stay Informed, which will, you will find on the right-hand side of the Cultivate the Conversation website. And you can submit questions to the project team by filling out the questions tab at the bottom of the Cultivate the Conversation website or by emailing the project team directly. I thank you for taking the time to learn about this project and I hope you will complete the survey.